Hey guys, Larry the Tractor Guy. Hey, we're out today working on an L340 large square baler. And uh, it's got quite a few bales on it. Um, and we're just doing some maintenance and checking some timing. Uh, customer has had a couple of issues with uh, the shear bolts on the needle lift arm here. And I'm gonna show that to you really quick on this needle lift arm. And then I'll go up on top of the baler and talk about that a little bit. So this is our needle lift arm okay it is driven by our knotter gearbox and basically lifts the needles up into the knotter assembly so that it can tie a knot okay uh, these are your shear bolts here okay and what we discovered was that it had the wrong shear bolts and the wrong shim configuration here which was throwing our second knot out of time okay and there's a couple things about that second knot that are really in important on a high bale uh, large square baler that's got a lot of bales on it so we're going to step up here on the back of the baler get up here on our knotter assembly and we've got our needles in the home position where we can ran the needles all the way up through the knotter frame here okay and if you can see our needle here so Caleb real quick you got your tape measure yep, right here. so that measurement to measure the throw on your needles is made right there okay and that measurement is basically between the twine disc okay and the bolt head of the second um, roller in the needle and that measurement should be somewhere around uh, four and three quarter to five inches and if you can see we're right there pretty close to that four and three quarter mark okay and that will basically throw your second knot really really out of time and cause your knot to hang up in the bill hook or possibly not even make the knot okay um another thing is is we're changing these rollers let me see one of those rollers there's one of our rollers if you can see that that's worn really really bad and got a groove war in the roller okay and that's going to be our second roller here which brings our bottom twine up okay from the bottom uh tensioners okay and so when we got that groove war in there that drastic that will also throw your knots off okay and uh, so keep that in mind if you got a high houred uh, a lot of bales on an l340 pretty good idea to take a look at those rollers and if you can see that bushing's pretty worn there too and so these rollers can get really really loose and throw your knotter out of time so just a quick uh, tech tip of the day and larry the tractor guy signing out